Harley Davidson and Cafe Racers. An improbable combination, for sure. No wonder so many have tried it, but only very few reached a good result. Which is not the case with this one. No, I am not joking. The project you are about to see looks way beyond that. And the most impressive is, the transformation process is not as complicated as most people may think. I can't tell you how many years I have been waiting to see a Harley Davidson Sportster with a perfect cafe racer stance. And that day finally arrived. Welcome to Racer TV. Remember those rare but very special projects that from time to time show up on this channel. Well, today is one of those occasions. Notice how amazing this cafe racer stance looks. No matter from what angle we see it, everything looks absolutely superb. And these are the lines we never expect from a Harley Davidson. If you are a regular follower of this channel, I am sure you are wondering. I think I already saw a similar stance. Do you remember this one? I had the privilege of presenting it last year. And yes. Both projects appear to be from the same family. All the proportions, lines, and especially the stance, are very near. But what is really impressive, is that this one, only has a 250cc engine. Is this a coincidence? Or is it just someone copying someone else's work? The truth is, both bikes were created by the same man. Kefun Jahi Adi, one of the founders of a bike community named, Solis Motorcycle, from Indonesia. I know that the similarities between the two projects, may lead you to think there is some lack of originality. Personally, on this project, I think the originality factor, is completely irrelevant. What is really important to stand out, is that Kifun, discovered a true beautiful cafe racer stance on its first project, and tried the same approach, on a completely different motorcycle. And choosing a Harley Davidson for such a task, is a very bold move. Who would have thought, that a Harley Sportster, could become such a beautiful cafe racer? We all know that beauty, is not measurable. But just to give you an idea, how good this project really is, we just need to look on Google. This way, we may find some nice projects. But in terms of a superb cafe racer stance, no other Harley, reaches the level of perfection, like on Kefun's project. And what impresses me the most, is its simplicity. According to Kefun, this Harley Cafe Racer, should be interpreted as an upgrade version, of the initial Project 7, which is based on this GN250. The most important and inevitable question, is how Kefun achieved this beautiful stance. I would say that it was by doing his homework. Instead of spending a lot of money on top of the line accessories, or building a completely new frame structure, Kefun invested most of his time, on the design process. In other words, he started by spending loads of hours, taking all the measurements of the standard Sportster. Although this is a time-consuming work, it is an essential labor, to discover what it needs to be modified, and what doesn't. The big advantage, 
is that it enables the designer to try many different things, until he reaches the perfect solution. Basically. This is the old trial and error method, but with the advantage of not having to invest money. Only time. So. Why does this Harley look better than most? Kefun's primary focus was to achieve a precise fit. The scale, length, bodywork, rack angle, and gaps were calculated using measurements and comparisons. Interestingly, the attention to these details is perfectly visible when we look at this beautiful motorcycle. Notice how all the alignments and proportions are simply perfect. But in order to get to this point, here is the list of the main modifications. The rear wheel diameter was increased from 16 to 18 inches. The front forks were lowered 15 centimeters. The swing arm was slightly modified to raise the rear section and get the bike completely horizontal. Kefun tried several fuel tanks, but they were all too small for the size of the Harley. And so he came to the conclusion that only a full custom-made fuel tank would satisfy the right proportions of his drawings. The seat and rear cowl are also custom-made just like the entire exhaust system and the triple tree. In what concerns to the frame's structure, interestingly, only this rear section was modified. So, is this a perfect project? Almost. I think there is one thing that could be improved. As you've already noticed, the front suspension doesn't have enough travel to work properly. Although these fork sliders were already cut, I believe that if they were even shorter, it would make a big difference. And why not using inverted forks instead? Because I think they don't match the vintage flavor of this awesome motorcycle. Another interesting modification is the belt transmission, which is now made by chain. This option, gives a better power delivery to the wheel, and allows an easy customization on gear ratio. According to Kefun, this project is not completed yet. He is planning to install a bigger headlight, refine the fuel tank curve, and change the rear wheel to fit this 17-inch flat drag tire. Honestly, I think this Harley looks absolutely amazing as it is now. It is so simple, and so traditional, it almost makes us think, it's easy to convert a sportster, into a cafe racer. But if it was easy, many others would have already done it. I have no doubt, that Kefun is very talented, on finding the perfect cafe racer lines. And just like I said about his previous project, this one, will also be an excellent inspirational example, to many of the Harley Davidson fans. Essentially, and until this date, this Cafe Racer project, can only be the coolest Harley Sportster, I've ever seen. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.